Oh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with another Balloons video. And first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we're going to be jumping back into our Balloons Tower Defense 6 walkthrough slash playthrough slash guide. And of course, for this guide, we will have our Monkey Knowledge turned off and we will be using our Hero Oban. Of course, because the mode that we're going to be jumping into is going to be a Magic Monkeys only. So it's kind of a good idea to use your Oban since all of the towers that we're going to be using are, of course, going to be Magic Towers. And if you guys are unfamiliar with what Oban does, Oban basically buffs all Magic Towers towers which means that open is the perfect hero for the magic monkeys only so first thing that we're going to be starting off with is we're going to be starting off with a ninja now with this ninja we want to keep in mind for future tower placement we want to make sure that we have enough room on the right side and of course we want to make sure that we have enough room on the left side so just make sure that you place your ninja directly in the center and it's going to work out perfectly well for you guys so of course because we are just Starting off with no monkey knowledge, nothing too crazy like that. We are going to lose a couple of lives here on round four because we just don't have enough popping power in order to deal with each of these blue balloons. And as you can see, we have this little rush of blue balloons. Our ninja monkey is going to try his hardest to try and pop as many of those balloons as he possibly can. But of course, we are going to lose a couple of lives there. No surprise. But next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading to Ninja Discipline. Now we're going to be upgrading to Seeking Shurikens after that, just to make sure that our Ninja has the best chance that he possibly can have in order to popping all of these different balloons. So of course, next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to be going for this Seeking Shuriken. Nothing too much is going to change with the start of the strategy. Of course, we're going to upgrade the, the Ninja to a 201, and that should be enough to hold us over until we can afford to grab our Oban. Alright, perfect. Nothing too crazy going on just yet. And we should be able to afford Seeking Shurikens here in just one second. And, er, Sharp Shurikens, not Seeking. My bad. Alright, so there's our Sharp Shurikens. Perfect. Now we are set to start saving up for our Oban. Now, of course, once we get our Oban on the field, we have a couple more things that we need to like work on getting. Of course, we need to grab our Alchemist, we need to grab a Wizard Monkey, and then, of course, we need to try and buy a couple of other towers that are going to allow us to progress through these rounds with little to no issues. So one thing that I've chosen to use, which is a little bit different than what I usually use, is I'm actually going to be grabbing a Super Monkey. More specifically, I'm going to be going for the Center Tiered Super Monkey monkey which of course is going to be the uh robo monkey we're not going to go all the way for the tech tour to tear anything like that we're just we're just going to be going straight up for the uh robo monkey and that's it we're going to pair that with a couple of center tier wizards and of course a couple of other odds and ends here and there and it should be enough to make sure that we deal with each and every single one of these rounds so next thing that we're going to be saving up for is we're going to be saving up for the double shot of, and then we're going to be going for the balloon jitsu as well and that's going to be more than enough to make sure that we are able to progress through these rounds with little to no issues all right so while we're waiting to gather up enough money for the balloon jitsu i just want to take this time to thank each and every single one of you who are watching right now i really appreciate it the support on the channel of course is as amazing as ever we are actually getting more comments than we are views, which is absolutely amazing. You guys are really enjoying the walkthroughs and guides. And of course, you guys are giving me really valuable feedback. Some of the valuable feedback that I got on yesterday's video was you really don't need to do the standard modes. You can just skip straight to the Magic Monkeys only because, of course, the strategy for Magic Monkeys only will work for the hard standard mode as well, which is really good feedback, and I will most certainly start doing that because it will save a little bit of time in trying to beat the hard standard mode for one day and then making pretty much the same exact video for the Magic Monkeys only. So that's a little bit of a change that I'm going to be doing. I will no longer be doing the hard standard mode. We will just be jumping straight into the Magic Monkeys only. So a massive thank you to those who suggested that. I know there was a couple of, of, of you, so absolutely great feedback. And of course, if you guys have feedback on the channel on what you think I could improve with the quality of my videos or anything like that, make sure you guys let me know because of course I do take feedback extremely serious. All right, so we should be able to afford our balloon jitsu here in just one second. The rant is pretty much over. I do want to say that we will be doing the 12 hour live stream tomorrow. Well, Friday at 12 o'clock PM 
Eastern time. So if you guys want to swing through and hang out, we plan on streaming for 12 hours straight, and that's a little bit of a celebration of reaching 50 followers on Twitch, which is absolutely amazing as well. So of course, if you guys want to join in on the fun, make sure you guys swing by and check that out as well. Again, that will be at 12 o'clock Eastern time. All right, so I was gonna buy the, yes, I wanna buy the Alchemist next. We're gonna go ahead and place down our Alchemist really close to our Obobin here. And I will explain to you why you wanna get that close placement here in just one second. All right, there we go. So the reason why we wanna place our Al Alchemist so close to our Oban is of course, we're gonna be placing down a tower right here in the corner. And of course, we're gonna get the Oban buff as well as the Alchemist buff. I know it's not gonna make too much of a difference in the later rounds because of course, we're gonna be buying three more towers that are gonna be placed within the ra radius of our Al Alchemist here. But having this Al Alchemist placed right here at, at the start is going to allow us to make sure that all three of our starting towers are getting that Oban and Al Alchemist buff. All right, so now that we have all of this, you guys can see that I have the Alchemist upgraded to a 300. We're going to go ahead and save up for the Stronger Stimulant next. And of course, the Stronger Stimulant is going to, of course, increase the popping power of our Oban and our Balloon Jitsu Ninja. So we should be able to afford the Stronger Stimulant here in just one second. Probably at the end of this round, we should be able to afford it. And perfect, there's our Stronger Stimulant. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to be saving up $700 to remove this cornfield right here. Now, of course, this, this cornfield, we are going to be removing this. We're going to be placing down a Magic Monkey because, of course, the Magic Monkey has a massive hit radius, which we are most certainly going to be taking advantage of. So first thing that we're going to do, let's go ahead and sl slow it down real, real quick. We're going to pay attention to the Oban Greenfoot's range. So as we can see, without the Owl Alchemist buff, our Oban's range roughly hits right here at this line. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our wizard and we're going to place our wizard down right about here. We're going to start from the top, bring it down just a little bit and place it right there. And as you can see, we should be getting the Oban buff with and without the Owl Alchemist uh, buffing our Oban and of course the reason why we want that is we want to have our wizard get the Ob Oban buff as, as well as get really good play placement and have the best hit radius that we can possibly give it. So we should be able to just be able to afford the Arcane Mastery and we should be able to afford the Acid Pool and Faster Throwing as, as well right before round 40. So here's our Arcane Mastery, and now you guys can see why I wanted to make sure that we got that really precise placement on our wizard. Because now our wizard can hit the balloons as they're pretty much circling around this entire area here. Of course, you can see that we did an amazing job in dealing with the Moab. We had no issues whatsoever. All right, so now the next thing that we're gonna be saving up for is we wanna save up for our Super Monkey. Now, of course, our Super mo Monkey, like I was saying, we're gonna be upgrading it to a tech not, not a tech terror, but a robo monkey because of course the robo monkey does massive amounts of damage and he's going to be a good asset for us to have. Now one thing with the super monkey that's going to be a little bit different, I know we're going to have this massive amount of range, you want to place him kind of towards the bottom here and that's because with the epic range we're going to be able to see get a little bit better line of sight here. Because as you can see, we are losing a little bit of a line of sight here, but not too bad. If we would place them a little bit further, for, further down, we would have gotten a little bit better sight line, but it's still not that bad. Now we're going to be saving up that whopping $9,720 for the Robo Monkey. Then of course, we're going to go for the Laser Blast and Plasma Blast as well. And of course, we need to pair that with a couple of other towers to make sure that we are able to deal with like the purple balloons. So we'll be adding another probably ninja up 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 there, and that and we would need the ninja just to make sure that our robo monkey and our wizard monkeys are able to pop in each and every single balloon. And of course, we are going to be upgrading to the Ar arcane spike. We want the arcane spike just to make sure that. We do as much Moab damage as possible. We really don't need, need to worry too much about the Moabs right now because we do have the Super Monkey and we do have the Balloon Jitsu uh, Ninja as well. So we should be able to afford the Robo Monkey here in just one second. 
All right, so as soon as we can afford to buy the Robo Monkey, we're gonna go ahead and buy it. So there's our Robo Monkey, perfect. Now our Robo Monkey is going to be putting out massive amounts of damage. So one thing that we need to make sure that we pay attention to is that when we upgrade to a Laser Blast and then Plasma, Plasma Blast as well, our Robo Monkey is no longer going to be able to hit le er, the Purple Balloons. So we're gonna have, have to place something along the lines up top here to make sure that we're able to rip the purple off of the purple balloons which will allow our super monkey to go ahead and deal with those balloons with no issues another thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be gra gra grabbing ourselves a bottom tier wizard and we need that to make sure that we can hit the camel balloons because of course we sat we sacrifice the camel detection on our super monkey by going for the top tier so a way that I've chosen to deal with that is, of course, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a bottom tiered uh, wizard to go ahead and reveal the camel balloons. And of course, the bottom tier wizard is also a relatively cheap tower to buy. So we'll go ahead and try and get as best placement as we can get right there. And now we have Shimmer. We'll go ahead and upgrade to Fireball and then Wall of Fire as, uh, as well. That way, our wizard monkey can get a few pops. Of course, we have it placed in a very good place to where his wall of fire isn't going to be too sporadic this is only a one lane pathway so we know that the wall of fire is always going to be hitting the balloons no matter what all right perfect next thing that we're going to be doing is we want to save up the ten thousand dollars to go ahead and afford the arcane spike i know it's a little bit of a pricey upgrade but believe me guys it is definitely worth it just to make sure that we are able to do massive amounts of damage to the Moab balloons, to the BFBs, and of course the oh my god that's going to be coming in a few rounds as well. Alright, and perfect. We should almost have enough money to afford our Arcane Spike. As soon as we can afford our Arcane Spike, we're going to go ahead and buy it. It shouldn't be too long before we're able to afford it. Of course, the Shimmer is doing an amazing job in revealing all of the camos, which is allowing our Super Mutt Monkey, which is upgraded to the Robo Mutt Monkey, which is giving him the ability to deal with those balloons with no issues. Alright, perfect, amazing, and fantastic. Let's go ahead and upgrade to Arcane Spike now. Now our Wizard Monkey is going to be putting out massive amounts of damage to the Moab Balloons and, of course, all of the other Balloons as well. Now you guys are able to see the issue that we're going to have with the Purple Balloons. Of course, one way that I'm going to be de dealing with this is we are going to be just grabbing ourselves a Ninja right here and placing down another Balloon Jitsu. Of course, we're just going to be up upgrading to seeking shurikens. That way, we want them, or that the way our ninja is doing a quite a bit of popping as well. And we're not just going to be wasting money, allowing our balloon jitsu ninja the ability to remove the purple from the purple balloons. All right, so there's the balloon jitsu. Perfect. Now we're going to be grabbing ourselves a center tier wizard and of course we want to make sure that we get decent placement on this wizard so let's go ahead and place him right here i know he's not going to be getting the open buff for the entire time but he's still going to get decent amount of time being buffed by o open all right perfect now we are going to be upgrading to the uh, monkey sense and the reason why we want the monkey sense is of course because we are using shimmer <laughs> Just in case the wizard at the bottom misses out on one or two towers, our wizard's still going to have the ability to deal with the camo balloons. And of course, we have the ability to see camos in the, in the very back, which we really shouldn't struggle with too much at all. Alright, so here's our Dragon's Breath. Perfect. And now, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing ourselves our Druid. And, if, and the reason why I've chosen to go with the Druid is we're going to be going for the top tier Druid in the back here. And the reason why we want the top tier Druid in the back is any balloons that do slip through, our top tier Druid is going to be able to send them, them back towards the start of the map, which is exactly why he's a really good tower to have. And of course, he is going to be getting the open buff as well. So he's also going to be, go, going to be putting out quite a bit of damage. Right, and of course, Druid of the Storm really isn't too expensive of an upgrade. It's only $2,160. So it shouldn't take us too long to afford it. 
Now, of course, the harder rounds are coming up here in just a second, so we want to make sure that we get him on the field as soon as possible. Next thing that we want to do is we just want to grab ourselves a couple more uh, center tier wizards and place them in the back here. Now, of course, any like small small balloons that aren't pushed back by our center tier dru druid are now going to be annihilated by our center tier wit wizard in the very back. And if you guys are curious on what the front of the map is looking like right in, right now, our super Mon monkey is doing an amazing job in dealing with all, all these balloons. He's not struggling one bit. Of course, paired with the ninja monkey in front and also our wizard as well, we are doing an amazing job in dealing with each and every single one of the rounds. Alright, so here is our Dragon's Breath, and we're going to be upgrading to Intense Map Magic with Monkey Sense, of course. Perfect, fantastic, and amazing. Our strategy is almost done here, guys. And of course, once we place down one more wizard in the very back, our strategy is going to be pretty much 100% complete. Uh, if you guys want to place down a couple of bonus towers and stuff like that, we can go ahead and throw down another Super mon Monkey. Maybe grab ourselves a ninja or an owl alchemist to buff our towers down here at the bottom. It really doesn't matter too much, but of course any towers that you do place down is going to be a little bit of a bonus. Uh, I think a good choice, which is what I'm going to go for, is I am going to be going for a unstable concoction towards the end just to make sure that we're able to deal with the Moab balloons a little bit easier than what we have been. So there's our Dragon's Breath, there's our Monkey Sense, perfect. And then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves the Unstable Concoction and place it towards the front here. Stronger Acid, per per Perishing Potions, and of course the Unstable Concoction really isn't too expensive of an upgrade. It is only $3,240. Now, if you guys wanted to buy the Unstable Concoction before you bought the uh, Dragon's Breath in the very back, that is a very viable option. Of course, I feel like you really don't need, need it till like 79, so that's why I waited just a little bit lo longer before I actually bought it myself. Now go ahead and grab Acid Pool and then Faster Throwing as well, and of course, this will be the last tower that I'm personally going to place. If you guys want, want to throw down like a, a couple more Wall of Fires or something like that, feel free to do so. But this will be able to finish off this strategy with little to no issues. Of course, our Balloon Jitsu is doing a great job in dealing with a bunch of these different balloons. And right there was the hardest part of this entire challenge. And that was dealing with that rush of camo ceramics. And of course, uh, our towers did an amazing job in dealing with it. Hence why we went ahead and went with the Druid of the Storm and that it was simply to make sure that that rush of Camo Ceramics on 78 did not slip by. So if you guys do have an I issue with the Camo Ceramics or anything like, like that, just uh, remove like this crop of land right here and place down a couple more uh, Wizard Mutt Monkeys in, in the very back that are upgraded to Dragon's Breath. Uh, I've run this strategy three or four times already and I haven't had an issue, so hope so hopefully you guys have the same results that I had. Alright, and as you guys can see we are on the Zoma oh God. We are going to be able to shred through this here in just one second. And our fire w wizards as well as our balloon jitsu nit ninja is going to be able to finish off each and every single one of those balloons with no issues. And as you guys can see, we did finish with $10,970. So we do have quite a bit of room to add a couple of towers if you guys so desire. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to drop a like. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload it daily. But anyways, guys, you already know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I'll see you guys in the next one.